I started speaking to, to this gentleman with ginger hair and glasses and, and you know we, we got talking, he said where, where am I from, what's my name um, and then we started to talk about God and religion uh, he asked me what, what, what my views are on God and I said I, I believe in God, everyone does and you know we start going through Start, we started talking through the Ten Commandments, you know, have you done this, have you done that? I said, I've, I've committed them all, you know. I, I was feeling really uncomfortable in my heart. I wanted to, to, to run away from, <laughs> well, I wanted to run away, but I felt the need to just stay in the same conversation and, and talk to this gentle, gentleman. And he said, if you were to die right here, right now, where would you go? Would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? And I could only pick them two places. I couldn't say yes or no. I couldn't say any other thing. But I said, I go straight to hell. I go straight to hell. A one-way ticket to hell. And he said, there's hope for you because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And he said, there's hope for you. You can repent right now, you can have a new life right now, you can be set free from your sins right now on the spot. And I said, what do I need to do? And he led me through a sinner's prayer. And it was a, it was a different type of sorry. I was, I, I, I was so sorry for, for my sins. I was really convicted um, of, of all my past sins, of, of, of all the lying, of all the cheating. Of, of all the sex, all, all, all the drunkenness, I was so convicted. I, I, I kid you not, I was, I was crying my eyes out with, with guilt, with, with conviction. It's, I was in sin, I was going straight to hell, but on that, on that day, God saved my soul from hell. God did, did, did a miracle in my life. And it's the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. It's the hardest thing being a Christian, it's not easy. It's more than going to church on a Sunday. It's, it's, it's more than saying, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian. Because anyone can say that. You've got to love that thing. You've got to live it Monday to Sunday. You've got to live it every day. You see, you've got to seek the Lord while, while he may be found, guys. You see, God has a plan for each and every one of you. If God can save me, he can save you. If you can do a miracle in my life, he can do a miracle in yours. If God can set me from, from, from marijuana, from, from drunkenness, from, from girls, from sex, it can set you free. It can set anyone free. Because my God is a saviour. You see, Jesus is the only way to heaven. You see, Buddha died and that was it. Sikh died and that was it. Muhammad died and that was it. Buddha died and that was it. But Jesus Christ died and rose again on the third day. He rose again. He rose again. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. So to get to God, you need to go through Jesus, my friend. He's the only way. You see, with, 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 with religion, it's, 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 it's man trying to get to God through works and good deeds. But through Christianity, God came to the earth. He came and, and died a shameful death. You see, Jesus said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Do you believe in Allah? Yes. What is his name? You, see what I mean? you need to repent. You need to turn away. You need Jesus. You see, Jesus is the only one who can, who can give you true contentment. You'll never find contentment in the, in the drugs or the alcohol or the, or, 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 or the women. You'll never find content in, in this world. You see, this world will, will take you in and spit you back out, but Jesus Christ will take you with open arms. He'll, he'll wash away your sins. He'll, he'll guide you and help you and use you for his glory. You need to repent. It starts with repentance. You need to say sorry to God. You need to be born again, the Bible says. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God loves you all, Sheffield. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. You see, 
Jesus said, well, I know the plans that I, have, that, that I have for you, not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. You see, God has a plan. God has a plan for your life, a, a, a bigger plan than you are for yourself. God has the greatest plan for you. And if you were to trust in Jesus, if you were to just turn and repent today, you can be saved today, you can be born again, you can live a new life in Christ, you can start afresh, you can start a clean slate today. But it starts with repentance. It starts with with, with, with saying sorry to God, it's, it starts with repentance. You see, repentance is turning away, turning away, and, and humbling yourself. You see, the Bible says, "He who humbles himself shall be exalted, but he who exalts himself shall be humble." I just want to say, God bless you, City of Sheffield. I pray to God that you get saved. So it's coming a day where every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You, you will bow your knee before the Lord. You, you will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You see, it's either heaven or hell. I'm talking eternity. I'm not talking a hundred years. I'm not talking a billion years. I'm talking eternity. It's up to you. The decision is in your hands. The greatest gift what God has given us is free will. To do whatever you want, when you want, how you want. It's up to you. But I'd recommend that you choose Jesus. You choose Jesus, you choose life. You choose this world, you choose hell. You need to, you need to repent.